we have the University of Michigan Conference Confidence Index for May coming in the preliminary number worse than estimated and showing a pretty sharp decline from April, down 9% to an index reading of 57.7. Current conditions uh, going down to 64.5, expectations at 53.4. And there's some really interesting commentary that I want to point out from Joan Shu, who's the Su Survey of Consumers Director in this release. First of all, she points out that it is negative news flow about uh, the economy that is affecting consumers. But not only that. Guess what? People are paying attention to the debt ceiling debate, and that seems to be feeding through into confidence as well. So it's not just that the American people in polling don't have a lot of confidence right now in Washington. It's that they're listening there and they're upset about the debt ceiling situation. I thought that's really interesting here, Brad, that yeah. she points to that. Yeah, absolutely. They also added throughout the current inflationary episode, consumers have shown resilience under strong labor markets. That kind of pairs back to what we had heard from a lot of the bank CEOs over the course of the earnings season saying that the consumer remains healthy. Uh, but the anticipation of a recession is mm. uh, what should also get attention here. They're saying the anticipation of recession among consumers will lead them to pull back when signs of weakness emerge here. And not only that, that if the debt ceiling crisis is not resolved, mm -hmm. that uh, the dismal views on the economy will exacerbate the dire economic consequences of the default. So this, I mean, this is a little interesting and unusual here. These, these reports are usually pretty straight, right? But this almost is once again leaning into what we've been hearing from the likes of Janet Yellen, from business leaders, from the president, that there will be dire consequences um, if there is a debt ceiling breach and potentially a default. Yeah, absolutely. Played into the expectations for the economy, plummeting 23% from last month. Long run expectations sliding by 16%. Yeah, exactly.